In this question, we're asked to simplify this expression. Now, when we first look at it, it does look fairly complex, but if we break it down step by step, it's actually quite simple. Now, there are various approaches you could take, and I think the one I'm going to take is to deal with the numerator and denominator separately. In other words, I'm going to simplify them, and then see if there's anything I can cancel after that. So, looking at the numerator, I'm going to deal with the numbers first. So I've got the 2, the 3, and the 4, and obviously they are multiplied. So 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. I'm now going to work my way through the letters, the variables, alphabetically. So I'm going to deal with the x terms. So they've got x squared, I've got the x, and I've got another x here. So I've got x to the power of 4. Dealing with the y terms, I've got y cubed, got another y here, and another y there, so that's y to the power of 5. And finally, the z terms, I've got 1 here and 5 here, so that gives me z to the power of 6. So that's the numerator dealt with. I'm now going to deal with the denominator, and I'm going to deal with it in exactly the same way. So the first thing is to look at the numbers. I've got the 6 and the 2, and 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. Again, working alphabetically, I'll look at the x terms. So I've got x squared here and x here, so that gives me x cubed. Next, I look at the y terms. I've got y and y squared, so that will give me y cubed. And finally, the z terms, I've only got one of them here, that's z to the power of 4, so we have z to the power of 4. Now that I've simplified the numerator and denominator, I'm going to see if there's anything that I can cancel. And again, starting with the numbers. I've got 24, which is divided by 12, and that will give me 2. Looking at the x terms, I have x to the power of 4, divided by x to the power of 3, so that's going to give me an x. I then have y to the power of 5, divided by y to the power of 3, and that will be y squared. And finally, I have z to the power of 6, divided by z to the power of 4, which is z squared.